Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 4th. Uh, this week, if you all want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe, and I will be here at 4. So, Virgo, let's see what is coming up for you. Uh, this week, you have two cards. We'll take them both. Why not? So, Virgo, let's see here. And that's upside down. Um, yeah, Virgo, right off the bat, a, a lot of creative energy here in the first place. The Fool, that is crazy. Everybody this week um, practically has had the Fool. I can't believe it. I haven't had a week like this in a while where um, like a repeating card comes up this much. Uh, people always ask me, you know, are the cards sticking? And I always say, just watch the other readings. I use a different, uh, I use a different deck for every single reading I do every single week. So, um, you know, no, <laughs> uh, but it is pretty interesting. And I shuffle the crap out of the cards anyway. Uh, your first two cards here are, uh, this is a whole row is amazing for you, this first row here, Virgo. You have the opportunity card and the enlightenment card. To me, this is just like you get having some sort of idea for something new that you want to do in life or something popping into your head. And it's like, you're just getting started. Um, and you're taking a leap of faith, moving towards your inner calling. Um, this is actually a very simple reading here, Virgo. I feel like in a lot of ways that you are just having like a wake up, wake up call and I feel like you are being reborn uh, with these cards. So I feel like some of you could be just starting something new in life and I feel like it's gonna be very successful. That has been the story for pretty much everyone. A part of me is wondering like with this whole virus situation, if we are, you know, if, if it was kind of like a death and rebirth process, you know, if it, in something that is leading, leading to everybody having a new beginning, I mean, you know, things are probably never going to be the same again after this whole situation is over. So, you know, it kind of would make sense. But I feel like you are becoming aware of an opportunity in your life here. Uh, first, you have the Ace of Wands and the Six of, Wands, the Six of Clubs. I love it. Uh, Six of Clubs in the playing cards is just a card of success and a card of being successful. The Ace of Wands is like a passionate new beginning. So this is almost like something, I, feel, I almost feel like something is just like popping up right in front of you. Something that you're very interested in, something that you want to do. For a lot of you, I feel like this could be in work or business here, Virgo. And it's like you're jumping on an opportunity. I feel like it could be something creative. I feel like you're going to be very successful uh, at whatever it is. For others, this could be like an opportunity to move away. It could be just any opportunity. This comes up for you almost every single night, Virgo, that there could be some sort of new opportunity for you to move, for you to travel, um, for you to just uh, move away from people as well. Five of Cups. You always get these combinations that could represent like leaving people in the past. Um, this could be friends, could be family members, things like that. But it's like these are people who probably no longer serve you, um, people who are just not good for you. And I feel like there could that's where the sadness could be coming from. But I feel like there's a lot of good stuff coming in for you here, Virgo. Uh, next, you have the Net of Swords here and the Eight of Pentacles, or the Eight of Diamonds, I should say. Eight of Diamonds is a card that is called the Key, and it represents kind of like the small details. Very interesting because you have the Mouse Spirit card here, and the Mouse Spirit card says tend to the small things. So I feel like there are a lot of small details for you to pay attention to this week. Um, Eight of Diamonds does say that if we pay attention to the small things, we will be very successful. The Eight of Diamonds is a card that kind of represents a beginner mindset, going back to the beginning, or kind of um, you know learning about things from the beginning. It kind of says that sometimes like the easiest thing is the right answer as well. So what the hell does that mean? It means like in work or business or in love even, we could be overcomplicating things and maybe we need to go back to the beginning. Like if we're having problems in a relationship, maybe we just need to think about like why we got into the relationship in the first place and maybe that can you know kind of put things into perspective. The other thing I think is with the Eight of Diamonds, sometimes we just need to compare, right? Like maybe we have an argument, a silly argument in a relationship. I don't know, this is what's popping into my head with these two cards, by the way. It's like maybe we have a silly argument, but it's like maybe if we look at other people in our lives who also have arguments in their relationships, you know, these two cards can tell us, like, if we put it into perspective and we think about it, it's like maybe their arguments are a thousand times worse. Maybe the person that you're with actually listens or whatever. So it's like, you're, I feel like 
for whatever reason, Virgo, when I'm trying to spit out here, I feel like you're putting things into perspective in all situations in your life. I feel like you're saying like, okay, yeah, maybe this sucked for a time being, but at the same time, like other people have it a lot worse. So I feel like you're putting things into perspective. I feel like it's gonna lead to a lot of success. That's what the Eight of Diamonds says. Uh, next, you have the Six of Swords here and the Four of Clubs. Your thoughts are in line with the truth. The Four of Clubs in the playing card reading system just says your thoughts are in line with the truth. The Six of Swords is moving on to calmer shores, calmer waters. So I do feel like this whole row here is about opportunities to move on uh, in life and just opportunities for improvements in general. Six of Swords is like a rite of passage. It could say you've gone through some difficulties and challenges, but like, you know, good things are coming in for you here. Uh, next, you have the mouse spirit. Again, it says tend to the small things. So I feel like you could be dealing with like a lot of small details, like I said. That eight of diamonds is called the key. And like I said, it just says that you have all the keys necessary to open doors in your life. But it's like you do maybe have to look for these keys. You do have to look for the things that will open the doors. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you have to do that. The eight of diamonds can also represent learning because it can just say, it can just say that the keys are available to you to open doors to certain things in your life. But it's like, you have to kind of like learn or get started. Uh, next, you have the Fool. Virgo, you've been getting this card for years, literally with me, the Fool. And you have the Six of Hearts as well. I love this. Um, Six of Hearts is a very good card. It's a card of obstacles being removed from your life. I feel like this whole row is saying, this whole middle row is saying that you could be doing something that you tried in the past that didn't work out is what's popping into my head here. Not necessarily what these cards mean, but the six, the six of cups, or I mean the uh, six of hearts here. Um, I, again, I, I do not read tarot and playing cards the same way, <laughs> even though I just said six of cups. Uh, the six of hearts is a turnaround. It is a card of obstacles being removed from your life. It is a card that says, if you have tried to do something in the past and it didn't work out, the fool also says, try again. So I feel like it's time for you to kind of take a leap of faith and try something again that you thought about trying in the past or um, that didn't work out for you in the past. I feel like you're more prepared. I feel like you are more than ready as well to get started on something. You always get this card. I always say, just do it, Virgo. Uh, next, you have the Five of Cups here and the Ace of Clubs. The Five of Cups is a card of sadness and depression, but it's also a card that just says if she were to turn around and look at these two cups here, she would see that there's a bridge over this water that leads to a castle. She would see that there is safety, security, comfort, protection for her if she would just stop crying over the spilt milk, right? Well, it's really spilt wine. But the Five of Cups can be where we get too much of a taste for something. Like, it, you know, the story with the Five of Cups is that this person has had too much wine and so they no longer enjoy the taste. Um, it's not really a card like the devil, which is a card of addiction. You know, it, it kind of is, but it's more about, um, it's not so much about the addiction side of things. It's more about losing the taste for something because you have had too much of it in your life. So I feel like for some of you, this could just be saying that maybe you have been stuck at your job for too long. It's like you've had too much of it. I feel like you just need to turn around and see that there are other opportunities for you. I also always get friends for you, Virgo. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like maybe your friends, maybe they're just too much the same. And maybe that's what you have had too much of. Maybe they are not willing to change in life. Maybe they're not willing to grow. I feel like you could be turning around. Maybe you'll be sad, but it's like, I feel like you're moving towards bigger and better things here. You have the Ace of Clubs here. Ace of Clubs is my favorite card in the playing card reading system. To me, it's a card of total abundance and success. It's a card called the Ring, and it can represent marriage, number one, but it can also just represent your circle, the people in your life, the people around you. So I feel like this could be talking about friendship change. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Wands here and the Four of Diamonds. Yeah, love it. Now, the Queen of Wands to me is a card of wholehearted energy. I really feel like you're standing up for yourself in all areas of your life at this time, Virgo. I feel like you're very bold, very assertive, really going for what you want with this card. The Four of Diamonds is a card of patience. So I feel like you are having to be patient at this time, but I feel like you're getting things you want. Also amazing for moving as well. Uh, the four of diamonds. So if you're moving and specifically if you're moving for work or business, um, then, you know, this is a very successful card. I feel like you're very attractive at this time as well. The four of diamonds is also specific in that it says um, it's a card of patience for your soulmate, even though it is a diamonds card in the card reading system, it can represent like a soulmate coming in, but it represents kind of uh, needing to be patient for that to happen. 
Uh, next, you have the thinker card here. I feel like you're just thinking about things in this last row. It's like you are having a wake-up call with this judgment card, and I feel like you have a choice with this two of pentacles, and then you have the chariot, which is also a choice, but it's also a victory. So I feel like for a lot of you, you are just thinking about some sort of change that's taking place in your life, whether you're like moving towards new love or moving away from certain people in your life. I feel like you're just thinking about it here. Uh, next, you have the judgment card here and the two of spades. Yep, you're going to walk away from something. I feel like you're mostly walking away from people in your life here, Virgo. Uh, again, this might not be permanent. Some of you might just be moving or you could be traveling. Or you could be just, you know, taking some time away from people. Uh, again, this comes up for you almost every single night in the daily readings. And I feel like it, just withdrawal could be a good idea from you, especially for, for you, especially if you are moving away from people who no longer serve you, if you're moving away from people who steal your energy and things like that. So I feel like you're feeling a calling. For others, I feel like this could be some sort of really weird message. I'm not going to lie here, Virgo. I feel like for some of you, you could see something happening to a friend. Um, like... I, I don't know why jail is popping to my head, but you could be seeing someone getting arrested. You could be seeing someone, um, something bad happening to them with like an addiction or something like that. And I feel like that is kind of like the wake up call for you. I feel like you're saying, you know what? It's almost like you're saying to yourself, this person is drowning. The five of cups can represent someone drowning and it's like you can't save them. So I feel like you almost see someone drowning in your life and it's like you're just saying to yourself, you know what? I'll be here you know, when they fix things, but I can't be there for them if they're not willing to change things for themselves. I mean, that's like literally what's popping into my head. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with that situation here as well. Um, so some sort of wake up call. Uh, next, you have the Two of Pentacles here and the Ten of Hearts, Fortune After Difficulty. Definitely the new path, picking the new thing, will lead to Fortune After Difficulty with that Ten of Hearts. So I feel like a lot of you could just be moving on to something new. Uh, next, you have the Chariot and the Seven of Diamonds. Seven of Diamonds is a card of trusting your intuition. This whole row here, there is a lot of intuition here, even the Judgment card. You know, judgment can represent your inner calling. It can represent your inner voice. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is saying trust your intuition it is guiding you towards a victory. It is guiding you towards success with this chariot card. Um, finally, you have the womb as your archetype card this week. Very creative energy. Again, you start the energy, the reading off with the ace of wands and, and also um, opportunity and the enlightenment card and uh, this ace of wands. And you have the womb here as well, which is also a card of like gestation, um, starting an idea, working on something. So I feel like there's a lot of success for you this week in creation. Um, I would say if you're going through, some of you literally, I feel like if you're going through difficulties at this time with people, I feel like maybe expressing yourself through art or um, through creating something uh, could be very beneficial for you. For, so uh, I want to cover some of this real quick, some of these rows that are here for you, Virgo. I feel like for a lot of you, this is an amazing row right here, even with that Five of Cups. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Clubs. These are basically the same card. I, I do not read tarot and playing cards the same way, but like I said, the, they, are, they can be read the same way, and that's basically the same card. I feel like there's a lot of abundance and some sort of new beginning for you. Um, I feel like you've had enough of something with this Five of Cups. I literally feel like it could be anything. And I feel like you need to move on. Again, it's like she's crying. Like I said, she is crying over the spilt milk here. But it's like she's not seeing. Like She's fearing that she can't get over the water. But if she would just turn around and see these two cups, she would also see this bridge right here, Virgo. And she would see the castle in the distance. And she would be able to kind of like cross that bridge, overcome the emotion, and she would be very successful with the castle. She would find safety, security, comfort, protection. Uh, you have the chariot here and the seven of diamonds. For some of you, I feel like this is a victory. Again, I feel like you're seeing the castle, basically. For others, uh, I do feel like cancer, by the way. I feel like if you're looking for love, cancer, cancer and a fire sign. Uh, so it could be cancer or a fire sign coming in for you in love. I feel like someone's trying to communicate with you here. Uh, next, in this way right here, I feel like some of you are just moving on. Like I said, I feel like there could be some sadness because it's like you're starting a new life, but the judgment card says you're moving towards your true inner calling. So this is a very amazing reading for you, Virgo. A lot of good stuff coming up here. I feel like some of you could be moving or traveling. Again, it keeps popping into my head, but uh, it looks pretty good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.